In this personal video, I will show how to assemble a direct starter for a three-phase motor in an electrical control panel, using two buttons to turn the motor on and off and a thermal relay to protect the motor. Let's start by assembling the electrical control panel. We installed the mounting plate and rigid PVC channels to be able to run the wires through. Then we install the DIN rails to be able to install the devices, MCB, contactor, and thermal relay, and the screws to be able to fix them. On the bottom of the panel, we installed the SAK connectors to connect the phase, neutral, and ground wires. On the top of the panel, we install the ground bus, the MCB three-pole miniature circuit breaker, the MCB one-pole miniature circuit breaker, contactor, and connect the thermal relay to the contactor output. We start by connecting the three red phase wires to the SAK connectors, then the black neutral wire and the green ground wire. Now let's connect the power circuit, connecting the three phase wires to the MCB three-pole miniature circuit breaker and connecting the grounding wire to the ground bus. We leave a phase A wire from the input of the three-pole MCB and connect it to the one-pole MCB. Then we leave the three phase wires from the three-pole MCB and connect them to terminals 1, 3, and 5 of the contactor. We leave with the three phase wires from terminals 2.4 and 6 of the thermal relay and a ground wire from the ground bus and connect them to the SAK connector. We leave the SAK connector with the three phase and ground wires and take them to be able to connect to the motor. In the diagram, I will show you the same connection that was made. Each symbol in this diagram is a device, and I place the identification next to the symbol so you can understand better. Now let's make the command circuit. For each circuit, it is necessary to have an MCB miniature circuit breaker. For the power circuit, we place a three-pole MCB miniature circuit breaker, and for the control circuit, we place a single-pole MCB. We start the control circuit by connecting the neutral wire directly to A2 of the contactor. We leave with a phase and MCB wire from one pole, and connect terminal 95 of the thermal relay, which is a normally closed contact. We are first connecting to the normally closed contact 95 and 96 of the thermal relay because we are making a series connection with the contactor coil, and if an overload occurs in the motor, the relay will open. Contact 95 and 96, and will interrupt the power supply to the contact door coil. During the contactor, will turn off the motor. Then we leave with a conductor on terminal 96 of the thermal relay, and connect it to terminal 1 of the normally closed red button. I'm using the purple phase wire because it's so you can understand that it is the control circuit that is being made. Now I'm going to show you how this connection is made in the diagram. At the output of the red button, on terminal 2, we connect to terminal 3 of the green button and output to terminal 4 of the green button and count on terminal 14 of the contactor. Now we are going to make the holding contact, that is, we are going to connect in parallel the auxiliary contacts, 13 and 14 of the contact, or with the green button. Terminal 3 of the green button connected to terminal 13 of the contactor. We connect terminal 14 of the contactor with A1 of the contactor. We now leave with a ground wire from the ground bus and connect it to the panel terminal to be able to ground the panel and the panel door. Comment below in the video guys. What is your biggest difficulty in learning electrical commands? Sometimes it can be the command diagram or the contact or connection with other devices. Check out your subscription to the channel so you don't miss the next videos and leave your like to help our channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.